Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we are talking about the new 992 GT3. I'm so excited, my head is gonna explode. Let's check it out. So here it is guys, just today, Porsche announced online the GT3, the 992 GT3, and it is beautiful. Don't listen to what that nasty Nick Murray put out on Instagram today, saying how ugly the GT3 is. He is wrong, 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 diddly, diddly wrong. It is gorgeous. Let's go check it out. So here I am, Porsche.com, my favorite website. <laughs> This is shark blue. Now I find it really funny that Porsche have just announced a color called shark blue because Pat, Steve and I came up with the name of shark skin blue for the blue we picked out for our project car this year. I know, we are that big in the Porsche game that Porsche corporate take our ideas. Anyway, here it is, the beautiful GT3. Now the first thing that I noticed was that this particular set of wheels have the blue outline they have a blue edge on the outer, outside of the rim. I know one Porsche and Pancake member, Patrick, who'd be super excited. Maybe only more excited if they were neon blue, but that, they actually look pretty good. I don't think they're for me, but they're pretty good. The other thing I noticed straight away is that they have moved away from the traditional GT3 standard wheels, which are that sort of ribbon shape uh, where each of the each of the spokes has that kind of like ribbon kind of shape. Uh, they're still center locking, which is good, but these look more like um, the spider design wheels that they've put on the 718s and they've put on, um, they've also made available for the, the other 992 models like the, the C4S. Um, I, they look really, really sharp. And then the other difference I can see here from other GT3s is um, previous generations is that there is now a, there isn't a duck tail on the back. I think they've called this a swan's neck. Um, I don't know, it looks like a duck tail to me. Uh, in addition to the, the larger uh, spoiler that's there. Now that spoiler looks a little bit like the RS style spoilers, which uh, are basically just bigger, um, more sort of in your face than the GT3 spoiler. Good Lord. Who knows what the RS spoiler is going to look like when that finally comes out. But but other than that, it's sort of exactly what I expected. The last thing to comment is, I don't know whether it's just because this is a render, um, this isn't the actual car, but it looks like it's lower than your average GT car. Now, most of the GT cars come with PASM, which means that uh, they're going to be 10 millimeters lower than the stock ride height. Um, I, there's very little wheel arch gap there, so I'm wondering if that's actually um, lower than, than we would have expected. But it looks great. It looks absolutely just tremendous. Let's take a look at the, uh, the machine itself. You've got the red light bar across the back, and you've got to love that, that uh, Stuttgart German number plate with GZ3992. 911 on the sports chrono clock as well. That's just fantastic. Now, this GT3 is putting out, with its 4-litre engine, just over 500 horses. I think the 991.2 GT3 was putting out about 475, maybe only 450. So we've got a little bit, just like you'd expect, generation to generation, they're getting more powerful. Uh, look at the wing on the back of that car, though. That looks, that just really does look like the RS sort of style wing. Four liters, absolutely beautiful. On the back of the deck, deck lid there, you've got the mesh. Uh, and on the front, you've also got mesh, which is a little different than we've seen before. Let's take a look at that in a second. Um, the rear diffuser there, I really like the rear diffuser. Most 911s come with just a flat, basic rear diffuser there. And it's, it's the sort of fins that you can see there, the three fins on the left and right of the exhaust tail, light, uh, you know, the exhaust pipes. Um, I've been looking at these for my 991 
Vorsteiner have a really good um, carbon fiber uh, rear diffuser. I think you can also get them from Mosh Hammer. Uh, and it just gives you that more sort of aggressive look. I mean, yes, there are some aerodynamic properties to it, but uh, yeah, that looks really sharp. It's like, it's like this 911 has already been given the tech art treatment um, before tech art have even had a chance to start putting out any GT3 aftermarket components. So, wow, absolutely gorgeous. Large slats for increased downforce. I, I like it, I really like it. Now, let's take a look at the front of the car here. We've got, of course, the mesh grill on the lower part of the bumper, which you see on all of the GT3s that have been released to date. Um, what's different, though, is what they've done with the, the intakes on the top of the bumper. Previously, you just had this sort of smile-looking U-shaped uh, mesh grill or inlet across the front of the bumper by the, um, uh, the front of the hood by the emblem. Now they've put it into two, one on the left, one on the right, and it kind of looks like a uh, it kind of looks like an F1 car. I really like that. I think that looks really unique. And you know, we want the GT cars to be unique. We want them to look like 911s, but we want them to be unique. They, we want them to be special. And of course, they have performance um, they have performance attributes as well because they're bringing in that air and they're pushing it down to the additional radiator that you get in the center on the front of the bumper with the GT cars. Um, the the, uh, the the way that the body cuts in on the lower left and right of the bumper as well there, I really like. God, that looks good. Yeah, there it is again. That hood looks really good. And of course, carbon fiber. This thing has got carbon fiber all over it. You know I like the carbon fiber. <laughs> now let's take a look at the interior. Pretty standard, you know, as, as, as we would expect from a 99, uh, 911. Um, we all know that the 992 has the uh, single analog dial, the TAC in the middle, um, which you can see there has GT3, as you'd expect in the background. Um, it's got the digital gauges on the left and the right. And then of course now the massive Panamera um, inspired uh, PCM unit, which you can see there. Now, what I find interesting about the interior here is that we've gone back to a manual looking or at least original looking gear shifter, which is which is so cool because that was the one thing I was disappointed in with um, with the uh, with the 992 is that it, the the gear shifter just looked like a little cigarette lighter with some etching so that you could you know with a grip on the side of it and you just basically just tap it forwards and backwards to get in gear. You really lose that kind of driver's feeling of owning the control of the car by putting your hand on the shifter. Even in automatic cars, having the gear shifter there in the center makes you feel like you're more in control. So I'm really glad to see that they've gone back to that sort of track inspired or, you know, the the um, the, the classic look of the, the gear shifter. And then let's not forget, there's Alcantara everywhere. Not everybody's favorite, not my favorite. This is something that Nick Murray and I agree on. Not a big fan of the Alcantara interior, but it's functional. It's designed to keep sweaty hands on the track, on the wheel. You know, so there 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 is a uh, there is a reason for putting Alcantara in there. Um, same with the seats; it keeps you gripped to the seats better than just leather and better than cloth. So I guess it is it is you know there is some functionality there. There's another shot of the gear shifter. Wow, that looks really good. And I like that so we've got the deviated shark blue stitching there. And then we've got the deviated um, like gold GT3 logo on the um, on the base there of the stick, um, and also the um, the drive, uh, you know the, the sort of the top of the, the 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 gear shifter. I really like that. That's really cool. Oh baby, aerodynamics and design. Let's take a quick look. So I think this is where um, Porsche are going to show us the different wheels that are available. Um, they actually put several versions out. Uh, let's see, where are they? There's the front. Wow, that looks so good. Wow. It's such a good looking car. It just, you know, it isn't a disappointment at all. Here we go. Here are the different wheels. So you can get the GT3 wheel in satin black with the outer lip painted in shark skin blue. That we, that's what we could see earlier. You can just go for the basic silver. Um, or you can get the satin dark silver. I think that's probably the one I would get if I'm gonna configure this uh, GT3. 
20 inch uh, wheels on the front, 21 inch wheels on the back. So you've got that staggered wheel configuration, um, better for grip apparently. Uh, and then, oh, look at that interior, the deviated blue seat belts, the carbon. I'm not a big fan of the bucket seats, but they look really good, especially with the deviated blue stitching on the back. Now this is interesting for Porsche because the deviated stitching colors, you know, are primarily racing yellow, um, guards red, and you can also get carmine red, um, or the sort of chalk or white color. At least they seem to be the three most popular colors that people get with deviated stitching. You have been able to get blue stitching before um, and blue seatbelts, but the fact that they are promoting this car as blue with all of this blue deviated interior, I think is, is really special. I think they, they really wanna go and show you that this is a special car. This isn't just any old Porsche. So there are the seats. Yeah, looks really mean and aggressive. Oof, that's great. Uh, how good is that job? Just taking photos of Porsches. I, I want that job. That's, that's a pretty cool job. And there's the interior. Racing gloves though. Come on. I'm not, I'm not a racing glove kind of guy. Um, there are the, uh, the new iconic Porsche headlights with the, uh, the four um, running beams uh, either side of the, the central bulb. Um, I really like how that looks. And then more deviated blue on the interior. So now we can't do a configuration today, unfortunately, because uh, the configurator isn't going to go live until spring. That is going to be fun, configuring the dream car. So that will be another video soon. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much for checking in. I had to just preview this with you guys. I've been really looking forward to this coming out. Um, let me know what you think about the new GT3. It's a little bit more powerful than previous generations, just like all of them have sort of built one from the other. The fact that this is going to be standard with a four liter engine and over 500 horses means only one thing. If they've released the RS, it's going to be even better. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. More videos coming soon. Get out and drive. Stay safe. Stay warm. All that good stuff. See you soon. Bye.